Okay, so I don't know what we're gonna call this segment. I guess we call it like midnight thoughts. Um, it's late. It's about it's about midnight. Um, I just re- recorded a video for my marketing channel um, based on how to choose and select a marketing agency for small businesses. And I was like, you know what? Let's just kind of jump in here and talk about this. crazy how they've all developed and kind of where they've come from and stemmed from and I was talking to my ex-wife earlier (laughs) about a lot of different things but mainly like therapy and the things that have come out that I'm starting to learn and understand from like even my childhood to the impact that it has on me now and we're talking about a lot of different things and you know I have a lot of things to apologize for in in that in that relationship in that friendship and in a lot um and as i'm i'm saying this i'm saying yeah you know things but the the reality is like (laughs) this right here this freedom to just explore me (laughs) like just life with my dog it has been tremendous and Though I can apologize for the things I did and, and the way things all shook, shook out, um, man, I wouldn't change the process. I have grown and continue to see a more in-depth and a more comfortable space of myself spending this time than ever in my life, in my 40 years of being on this earth. And that's crazy. It's crazy that I've never gotten comfortable in the loneliness of just space with myself. Um, and so I think about like what I'm doing and you know, I've mentioned before, yeah, I'm planning a trip to Hong Kong. That's actually happening. Um, I've been looking at Airbnbs all afternoon for that trip. And it's just crazy because <laughs> never in my life would I have imagined I'd be sitting in Medellin, Colombia or Rio Negro at this point in time, planning a trip to go to Hong Kong without running it by anybody. I don't have any plans I need to make besides making sure that my dog's got whatever shots and things they need. Um, And then just like booking the ticket and going. (laughs) It's crazy to me to think that this is where my life is right now. Um, Sometimes I think about just like the freedom of this and so many people that are in my life I've lost that had not, I can't even say like similar aspirations or anything like that, but like different aspirations to do different things that were never realized. And I don't know, man, it's midnight right now. I'll probably be up to like two, maybe, maybe later, depending. Um, and it's funny, <sighs> Gary Vanderchuk, there's a few people that have had different takes on it. Gary Vanderchuk is one of them. Uh, David Goggins is another one. Uh, there's a few people that talk about, you know, having a goal and being disciplined and so disciplined and desiring it. I can't remember his name. He's like, he's huge on YouTube too. If I can remember his name, he'll be in the link in the description. But the link will be in the description. But um, they just talk about like you should be wanting the goals that you have set for you like as if you were running out of air. 
And I, I mean, I used to listen to like those YouTube motivational things. I mean, I was in sales for a while. So like those things to get yourself pumped up to, to have all the, the phone calls hung up <laughs> on you as, as you're going through the run of things. Um, I'd listen to those things and I don't know, like I'd listen to them and I'd hear them and I'm like, what do you mean you have to want something so much? Like you can't breathe and it's like you're gasping for air. Um, that's all you can think about. And it's all I can think about. This is like, it's my, it's my dream to be able to travel the world, experience all the cultures that I want to. Yeah, I'm learning Mandarin right now, and I never thought in a million years I'd be learning Mandarin. I was always way too intimidated to even think about it. It was always something I wanted to do, but never something I had the courage to start. And just the thought process of like doing this, <laughs> like this has been a year, it's been over a year now. And I don't know, it's a, it's a dream come true. It's definitely not been without its challenges, man. It's definitely not been without its challenges, but is any dream worth having not worth having some challenges to overcome to get through them? I mean, it's, it's crazy to me. It's just crazy to me. Um, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're going through or thinking about right now or like whatever thing seems like it's like so far off and it's in like an impossibility, but, uh, it's fucking possible. <laughs> it is absolutely possible. Um, I don't know. I guess I guess that's the midnight talk for tonight is that anything is absolutely possible. And this is absolutely a testament to that. Um, I still I, I just think it's crazy. Even like setting this up, having everything look how it looks. I mean, you guys have no idea. I get to these Airbnbs. I mean, obviously, I have an idea of what they look like because I've looked at pictures before I arrive. But, you know, then actually getting here and having to look and set up, you know, where the lights are going to go, make sure you guys can still see me clearly. Um, all of it is just, it's a process, man, but it's exhilarating. Like, I love it. I have never enjoyed anything as much as I enjoy this. I hate getting in front of the camera. Like, this to me is... It's intimidating. It really is. But I love creating the content and getting it out and sharing with you guys and having these random conversations about random things. And uh, I don't know, sharing my growth as, as you guys witnessed it firsthand. Um, I'm not even, let's, we're just going to get into it. We'll keep going. <sighs> I keep saying, that Colombia is full of beautiful women because Colombia is full of beautiful women. And I'm always talking about a new perspective, a new outlook, a new approach. And I have had my fair share of fun here in Colombia. That said though, um, I left the city, you know, I said it was because I needed tranquility and stuff like that, which I did. Um, I don't even know if that video is out depending on the order of this, but, um, I, I really did, but I needed some just some time alone. And at my apartment, when I'm in town and I'm not an hour plus away, there's always someone that wants to spend time. And it's such a tempting distraction always. And I just, I needed to be out here so that I could not be tempted or distracted because I'm trying to get these videos out. Um, and and I'm not trying to go through the process of growth and my perspective and the adjustments that I need while being distracted <laughs> because the distractions are real. I talked to a friend earlier and uh, we were talking about the videos and he's like, I mean, come on, man. You got to, Neil, listen, I know you're in Colombia. Like, where are the women at, man? You got, I was like, he's like, I know the channel's kind of clean. I was like, yeah, the channel's clean. Uh, but yeah, like, there's definitely an aspect of that I could share. Um, <laughs> but that impact of sharing that aspect would distract me <laughs> from everything else I have to do uh, and all the other things I want to do. So that's why I don't, I don't emphasize more of that on the channel, um, seriously. And listen, it was a really great conversation. I actually had a couple conversations with different friends today that had watched different videos. Um, 
shout out to Denise. She messaged me and said, hey, listen, you were talking about navigating, using the camera, walking around and, you know, dealing with your dog. And but it looks like someone's holding the camera for you because you've got the camera in one hand. You've got the leash in the other hand, but you still have a hand free. <laughs> and I, I realized I'm like, even like in the, the last video perspective part two, where I showed you guys the setup of the gimbal. Uh, with the Sony ZV-1. I'm actually using the Sony ZV-1 right now, but it's on a tripod. And um, I'm using a Rode wireless Go mic with a muff. And I usually use that or a Ride, a Ride wireless Go um, micro. I'm sorry, that is the, the Rode micro and or the Rode wireless Go. That's the one I use with the lapel mic. In either case, I digress. And so if you guys didn't know, Logan's not on a leash. He's never on a leash. So whenever I'm walking with him and I'm talking with him and I'm giving him instruction, he's off leash always. Um, so that's how I'm holding the camera and still have a hand free because he's walking off leash. <laughs> um, so that's the answer to that question. She had, she had said something else. I don't remember. Oh, um, she asked me about the links for Paul Wynn and um, the information regarding that tragedy. Um, just Google it guys. If, if you want to read more about it, um, when some positive stuff comes out of it, I'll share those things. I'll put those links in the descriptions. Um, just because out of respect for the family and everything else that, you know, I don't want to spread the rest of that out there. Um, what else, what else, what else? I had other good questions. I have absolutely no idea whatever I'm going to talk about. Um, in my marketing agency channel, I talk through creating content and the thought process of there's tools to use to objectively come out with what you talk about and then making sure that that title and those conversations link together. These kind of conversations, I never know. Some of them were, you know, like Plaza Botero, that video, um, which will be out before this one. That I, I thought about what I was going to do and looked and searched like what topics people were looking for in order to create that content. But these kind of impromptu conversations, I don't ever actually know what I'm going to talk about. Um, <laughs> it's so funny to me like I've spent more time having different conversations with friends now lately than I have in a really really long time and it's been really cool because I'm learning more things about my friends and identifying who my actual friends are through different everything hardships conversations the whole nine and um and at the same time like it's crazy to me the things that I'm learning about myself in these conversations so I had one friend I was talking to about, you know, dating and just like relationships in general. And the perspective he brought up in the conversation shift was, you got to think about like, what happens if you move back to the States? And like, how is the perceived ideologies of the United States coming from wherever they're coming from going to impact them in the transition to living there in the US? And I was like, I mean, she's hot, bro. Like, <laughs> who's, who's thinking about all the rest of that? Um, but just that point, man, is like, I should be thinking about all of that. I'm 40 years old. I can't even begin to go through the headache of having a relationship, a serious relationship with someone that is inevitably going to fail because it was set up for failure from the jump. And if you don't think there's pressures living in the United States that other countries absolutely and unequivocally do not have, you are out of your mind. Um, there is so much stress built into living in the U.S. And, yo, I love America. I love my country. But if you, you're crazy if you're not paying attention to just like the different levels of stress that don't exist in other places. Um, and so bringing someone into that environment and thinking about being successful, independent, strong, able to reach their potential, etc. That's a that's a real thing. Um, and I mean, it's made me think about so many other things too, in general, just in, in what I value and uh, in the approach and conversations I have with those I'm dating, because it's important to realize, you know, like permanent impact. And my trip, my trip to Hong Kong is for special interest. So uh, I, will, I will keep you guys posted on the special interest. Um, that's all I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna say about that right now um, I feel like I'm always going to going to do my best to be 
transparent on the channel and just kind of like openly share. But at the same time, I always want to respect those that I am uh, talking to or talking with or, you know, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, just remember I said it and we'll come back to it at another time. Like, you know, a couple months from now, when I'm in Hong Kong, ask me, comment down below and be like, hey, Neo, so what's the special trip to Hong Kong? And Hong Kong is ridiculously expensive. Now, granted, I've been living the life of luxury um, for nothing here in Colombia. The pricing and everything is, is just fantastic. And this year in 2022, um, the dollar to the Colombian peso has just been ridiculous, especially after uh, elections here. But um, Hong Kong, I'm looking at some of these apartments at like $300 a night. And I'm thinking to myself, where is the rest of the apartment for $300 a night? So that is going to be uh, that's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to that, all of it. Um, I will also uh, I'll keep you guys up to date on my uh, my journey to learn Mandarin. Um, I'd like to learn at least a few things before before going. I really want to do that with every country. Um, I feel like my brain is up to the task, so bear with me, and we'll try to do that as well. In either case, I'm out, guys. I just wanted to jump in here really quick since I already had everything set up and I just recorded a video. Um, there are times where I feel like hitting the button to record is really, really difficult. So whenever I have the notion or idea, I feel like I just need to write it out and, and do more. So here we are. I am moving Airbnbs tomorrow. Uh, I will be in that Airbnb, I think, for about a week and still in Rio Negro. But um, this, unfortunately, this is like bonus footage at this point. But in Airbnbs, if you've never been to the Airbnb before, you always should only book it for a couple days uh, until you actually get to the Airbnb and check it all out, especially here in Colombia. Reason being, not in Medellin, Cartagena, absolutely, any of the warmer climates, Santa Marta, if, for instance, the listing says hot water, you better ask to see the hot water heater because they'll tell you hot water because the climate is hot and the water is temp. That's just an example. Um, they'll tell you they have a washer and dryer. This unit has a washer and dryer, but it's a washer and dryer all-in-one. It's a Samsung. I absolutely hate them. Um, they do clean clothes, but they hardly ever dry um, correctly. It, they drive me insane. But it's a washer and dryer. But you don't know those things until you get there. Um, the view, what floor the apartment's on, several different things. So I always recommend, if you're going to do the Airbnb route, which I suggest, book it for a couple days, get there, and then see what's up. Now, the risk that you run is like this. I booked it, I liked it, and then I wanted to extend extend it, and when I went to extend it, someone had booked it. So, that's okay. I get to experience another apartment tomorrow. Um, but those are the kind of things that I would just say, keep in mind, what are the, there's other ones that are like loopholes. Not air condition. Oh, look for it if it has or does not have air condition, especially, especially in these climates that are kind of like in between, like Medellin. Um, it depends on where you're at. Sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't. My apartment does not have air conditioner. However, because of the height and the structure of where the windows and doors and how they open up for the balcony and everything else, it makes it super okay because it's very, very breezy. And at night, if the climate's a little bit warmer, I do have a fan for the bedroom, uh, which usually takes care of it. However, there are other parts, especially if you're on a lower floor in a building um, or if you're in a building that is surrounded by other buildings, if you don't have an air conditioner in Medellin, you will be extremely hot. So those are some of the things to look out for. Oh, internet. Just because it says it has Wi-Fi does not mean it's Wi-Fi worth having. Let me say that again. Just because it says it has Wi-Fi doesn't mean the Wi-Fi is worth having. So if you're doing anything related to being on computers, Zoom calls, anything like that, make sure that you message the host and ask for what the actual Wi-Fi speed is. Um, I cannot tell you how many times I've showed up and I'm like, well, great, four megabytes a second. That's what I'm getting on my mobile data from my phone. Like, this, I, I can't do any of the things I need to do. Um, so keep, keep that in mind. Obviously, there's cafes and different things for workarounds, but uh, it's just a lot easier if you can ask the questions up front and get an idea for that thing. Don't say, do you have hot water? Show me the hot water heater. Um, says it has a washer and dryer. Make sure you ask, is it a washer and dryer in one, or is it two separate things? Uh, and then Wi-Fi, ask for the actual speed. Those are my... Useless but very amazing tips um, <laughs> for traveling to Colombia. All right, seriously, I'm out. Peace.